I think those people have to settle down so that they can become part of the modern world and integrate. Ho 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 ho! You're obviously lying. A mere white lie, I'll admit, but a lie all the same. You worry me, Miss Walker. Your lack of sincerity is not admirable. Unless, of course, I should interpret all of this as the manifestation of something that can be considered typical American behavior. Is that the case here? Is it the unconscious expression of the desire to return home, Miss Walker? Whether I lie to him or tell him the truth, he's not going to like my answer. So I may as well just keep quiet. Answer me, please! I'm not going back to New York, and too bad if he isn't happy. Hmm, I see. In a way, your silence is quite answer enough, Miss Walker. So you intend to continue your journey through our country. A hazardous undertaking with neither goal nor destination. Pity for a brilliant New York attorney who seemed to have a gleaming future. That's not for you to decide, Doctor. For the rest, I think I've demonstrated throughout this interview that I present no psychological after-effects from my injuries. I would therefore like you to authorize my release now. Your interview is indeed conclusive, yes. But all the same, I still have some reservations. Your almost subversive ideas and your propensity to lie systematically. I'm sorry, but I'm not used to being interrogated like this. Some years ago, I would have interrogated you in a very different manner, Miss Walker. I grant that I may still feel some nostalgia for the good old traditional methods. You're one of the very last representatives of a world that is fast disappearing, Miss Walker. A disordered world that no one will miss. This key is much like you. Unstructured and uncontrollable. If you're able to find a way to use it to leave this floor, then you shall have proved that you are permanently cured. I would like to get my things back before I leave. You will find them there. Turn around. You seem somewhat upset. Try looking at the birds in the aviary. That should come.
But... What on earth's wrong, Miss Walker? I don't understand. The key. It didn't work. I did warn you, you know. You can't be at all well enough yet to deserve to be released already. But... But what do I have to do? Why don't you go back and have a lie down in your room, so you can continue your convalescence? But look at me. I feel fine. You have to let me go. Impossible, Miss Walker. The rule is very clear. Only those patients who are capable of opening the door may leave this floor. Right. Since you won't help me, I want to speak with your superior, Dr. Olga. You can do that when she comes by to see you for her daily visit. But please don't count on me to disturb her before then. There's a problem with the key. That's obvious. I need to find out where it comes from. Still burns, even after all these years. Someone should have a word with the maintenance department. So you're finally awake. Has Dr. Olga been informed? Get your bearings. I understood that you'd be staying with us for a little while yet. Ah, Kate. Kate Walker. How's it going? You look kind of down. Well, I had a problem. I bet you went and flunked Dr. Mongo Ling's test, right? But don't go flipping out over it, Kate. Kate Walker. I could never figure out how I was supposed to pass those damn tests either. I did fine in the interview, and he gave me the key to the exit. The problem is, I can't open the door. It doesn't work. Sometimes things just aren't obvious around here. I gotta tell you, Kate, Kate Walker, Leon, who is a lot sneakier than me. A few years ago, he got through the interview okay, and also actually got that damn key from the doctor. Yeah, but I never got the damn door open. Same as you. There's something really wrong with this place. That weird interview we have to go through doesn't surprise you? And all of that just to get a key that doesn't open anything? Dr. Olga told us lots of times, Kate, Kate Walker. In this place, talking bad about the protocol is proof you're really sick. Yeah, Dr. Olga knows what she's doing, and you can really trust her. When we're better, our minds will be able to understand how the key works, you see? My new treatment is making me fall asleep on my feet. I should inspect the key before I do anything else. I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key. These holes. It looks like something's been removed from the key. No doubt about it. My key's been deliberately damaged. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it.
Aha. I see. According to the picture, there's a pin missing. I need to find a way to fix it. But how am I going to manage it? Be reasonable, please, Miss Walker. I'm sure that without treatment, in a few months you'll regain all of your faculties, and you'll be able to leave the clinic perfectly cured. Kate Walker? If you've decided to come back to complain yet again about the exit or resisting all of your attempts to open it, you're wasting your and my time. Now go bother someone else, please! How are you, Kate Walker? Is your departure from the clinic imminent? I'm afraid not. You seem upset. What's wrong? I have to use a kind of key to open a door and finally get out of this place. It's a kind of a test, you know? A test that I passed, but the key didn't work. And when I compared it with an original, I saw it had been sabotaged. I'm getting the impression they're trying to keep us here by any means, Kirk whether we want to stay or not. That's a serious accusation. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, Kirk. Look at you, trapped in that instrument of torture. You don't think that's strange? You don't have the impression we're being held prisoner? It's true that I've been very weak since I began Madame Olga's treatment. But she says that it's normal. She calls it temporary secondary effects. We really need to get out of here, Kirk. Unfortunately, I cannot undertake the long migration of the ostriches without the mechanical leg, Kate Walker. But you, on the other hand, you can leave. But how? Show me the model of the key you told me about. Well, didn't you think to take the model with you? Hmm, that's what I thought. With this, my tribe Smith should be able to repair your key. If, of course, you find a way to get it to him. I doubt they have a postal service here. Go on to the balcony. Our shaman's messenger is never very far. I use it to communicate with my people. You can give it the key. It'll take it to my tribe Smith. Got it. Thank you so much, Kirk.
The messenger is out on the balcony, Kate Walker. Hey you! Birdie! Birdie! I've got something for you! This must be Valsambur, the town Kirk told me about. Kirk's tribe's camp, I guess. About that bird, Kirk. I must be doing something wrong. It won't come to me when I call it. It's true that the old owl is a bit of a lunatic. Have you tried to get it to land on the balcony? No, but I don't see what I can use for that. Look around the yard, Kate Walker. You may find something that might interest the board. Why not? I'll give it a shot. Thank you for your help, Kirk. The messenger is out on the balcony, Kate Walker. The owl flew away with the key, Kirk. That's good news, Kit Walker. Now we only need... Kirk. 
What's wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Kirk! Kirk! Can you hear me? Wake up! Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. Who are you? And what have you done to Kirk? You're the one who put him in this torture device. Calm down, Miss Walker. I'm Dr. Olga Efimova. You're- I don't care who you are. Bring Kirk round. Immediately. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. <laughs>